Welcome to the Sudoku Academy by Sudoku X. In this expert series, we build on advanced skills developed at hard levels. As you encounter increasingly complex puzzles, you will need to refine your Sudoku solving skills further. These expert tutorials teach techniques and strategies that bridge the gap from hard to expert gameplay. Today, we will introduce an elimination technique called Skyscraper. The Skyscraper is a straightforward and frequently occurring pattern that is easy to identify. It's a unique variation of the Turbot Fish technique. To better understand this technique, we strongly advise completing the Turbot Fish tutorial before proceeding. For the same digit, identify two strong links within two columns on the Sudoku board, cells A and B, and cells C and D. A strong link means that the digit is confined to only two possible cells within those columns, so they cannot both be false at the same time. If two of these candidates, let's say B and C, share the same row, forming the base of the skyscraper, then one of the other two candidates forming the top of the skyscraper must be true. Any candidates that intersect with both of these cells can therefore be eliminated. For this technique to work effectively, the candidates at the top of the skyscraper need to share the same band, as highlighted. The same band, in this case, meaning a row of blocks. Let's go through an example using a Sudoku board with notes already filled in. Let's choose the number 6 as our target digit. Examining the board, we find our first strong link in the second column where the 6 can only be placed in either the 3rd or 6th row. Continuing our search, we discover another strong link for the 6 in the 8th column. Since two of the 6s share the same row, the base of our skyscraper is formed. While the 6s within the base cannot both be true simultaneously, it can be easily seen that either the 6s highlighted in green or the 6s highlighted in blue must be true. Consequently, it follows that any other 6s intersecting the cells at the top of the skyscraper can be removed. Let's eliminate these. Evidently, for this strategy to generate elimination opportunities, cells positioned at the top of the skyscraper must share the same band. It is important to note that any Sudoku puzzle can be rotated 90 degrees, allowing the same approach to be applied to rows rather than columns. Having eliminated the number 6 in the first cell, we can confidently place the 7 and continue our game. Awesome! Be sure to check out our other videos for additional elimination techniques on your path to becoming a Sudoku master. Practice your skills with Sudoku X and master the game at expert difficulty levels.